Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full Lime Crime lipstick and demo review. I've reviewed three of the shades previously. Previously, it's a really awkward video. I wouldn't suggest looking at it, but if you're curious, I'll link it down below. Um, so this video is going to be about the 10 shades. I think they're 10 shades that I have. I have backups for some. So technically speaking, I have probably speaking, I have 14 Lime Crime lipsticks. It's going to be a demo, so I'm going to be talking about them as I apply them so you can see how they apply. You can see the formulation and the pigmentation and the color swatching of it all, whatever. If you're familiar with Lime Crime, then you know that they have a really wide range of colors. Some very wearable sinks and some are like reds and pretty nude colors. And then Lime Crime has the crazier, more in-your-face bright colors like the blues and the oranges and the purples. So I'm going to be reviewing all those kinds of things. So that's why you're going to see some crazy colors in here. Just warning you in case you're not familiar with Lime Crime and you're just watching this video for the sake of watching this video. So let's just jump right into it and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Contessa Fluorescent is a very pretty Pepto-Bismol kind of pink color. I was having a hard time getting this to show up as color accurate as possible so in a couple seconds you're going to see another clip with different lighting in order to bring it out a little bit more. Very popular shade. I wore this in my Numi Megastar review video. Video. Um, it's very pretty. It's one of Lime Crime's most wearable colors, to be honest, um, and it's very beautiful. So that is Contessa Fluorescent. Head is a peachy beige color. It is very much a nude. You can see that it kind of came really weirdly. The bullet of the thing was kind of damaged when they shipped it to me, so you want to watch out for that. But this dries me. This It's a little bit drying, but really, I just can't wear it. It doesn't look good on me. Um, so it's not one of my personal favorites, but it's just a straight up pe peach beige color um not too pale not too like bright it has a matte formula so i do feel it kind of accentuates some of my lines a little bit on my lips but very pretty color very popular color as well because it's one of their it was one of their first neutrals ever now there's bay bet which is more of a pinkish nude but this is just straight up peaches and it's very pretty starting off with no she didn't this is a very popular maybe slightly controversial color for lime crime this is kind of a mid-tone aqua blue or maybe even a mid-tone sky blue very very bright very in your face i don't think this is at all streaky or chalky or inconsistent in its coloring i think it's very pigmented and opaque and you really don't need to like go over it constantly so yeah this is no she didn't and it's quite quite bright quite it out there but hey whatever floats people's boat it's a very popular shade my beautiful rocket is a mid-tone orange this isn't corally nor is it like a light pastel orange this is just straight up orange color kind of like a crayon it is really pretty as well i enjoyed this color it's not streaky it's not drying i think these are drying if you wear them too many days in a row then you kind of it kind of takes a toll on your lips but as for this color in particular it's very pretty i don't think it's too like outlandish or in your face i mean yes it's an orange but i've seen people kind of mix this color with pinks to create pretty coral colors and stuff so i mean that's all up to preference but the formulation of this i really enjoyed it wasn't that hard it was not in your face and it's not streaky in any way shape or form so i do really like this color Cosmo Pop is absolutely beautiful. It's similar to the one you just saw, but this is actually a pastel. It's a very pretty light pastel orange color. It's, it, I've seen this mixed with pink as well, and it also looks very beautiful. This is a tiny bit brighter in person than it's showing up on camera. I think the skin swatch is a little bit more accurate than it is on my lips because my lips are a little bit pigmented, but very, very beautiful color, and um, I do recommend it but I probably would mix it with something because I don't have the guts to wear it by itself. Airborne Unicorn is a very popular shade from Lime Crime. I'm not sure if it was really coming out as color accurate as I wanted. My video camera was really struggling to capture this color. It's a lot more purple than it's coming up like on the screen in this video. Um, but it's a very beautiful color. It's like a straight up lilac color with a little bit of a pinkish undertone to it uh, but very pretty lilac color it goes on well it's not streaky it's not chalky it is a little bit of a thinner consistency it does kind of slip a little bit outside the lines of my lips but otherwise i really enjoyed it and it's a very very popular shade i recommend looking up swatches of these um to see the color a little bit better great pig planet is really pretty it is a super cool tone baby pink though so this absolutely looks horrible on me but um it's very 
popular oh my god i said that for every line i swear i'm sorry but it really is um i can't pull it off it's a pastel super cool tone pink it's kind of a streaky formula too like i have trouble applying it well and it does not look well in person it looks 10 times worse um but i've seen it look beautiful on other people so i'm jealous but it just didn't work for me um i would recommend i don't know <laughs> to retro futurist this is a blue toned red it's a very classic red very pretty red it goes on nicely it might be a little bit watery so this benefits from you know a traditional lip liner prior to putting on the lipstick itself but a very beautiful color this can be drying if you wear it too many days in a row sometimes i like to wear red lipstick every single day and then it does take a slight toll on me but they're not super drying i don't think any of the lime crime lipsticks are super drying until you start using them constantly and then maybe it takes you know a bit of a toll but i find that most lipsticks are like that at least on my lips very pretty blue tone color um and there it is while retro futurist was more of a blue tone red this is actually more of a burgundy maybe a slightly brownish red it's not coming across that way on camera but i promise you it is it's just really hard to capture with natural lighting at this point but it's also a very pretty color it goes on smoothly i don't find like it slips around as much as retro futurist does it's a really unique color um, and something a little bit different than the normal super bright red blue tone kind of thing Okay, so Centrifugia is my favorite. It rubbed off the label, but this is beautiful. I wear this all year round. It's absolutely amazing. It's kind of like this slight deep berry color, but it still has a little bit of pink in it. I don't know, but this wears like nothing else does. Three hours I can get with this, a little bit more sometimes if I don't eat or drink anything. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. It's my absolute favorite, and yes, I cannot say enough good things. I always wear this when I'm doing videos, and I feel pretty much naked without it. Okay, so that's it for my review of Lime Crime. So let me just recap it really quickly. I find they have amazing pigmentation, really good formula. Some are a little bit drying, yes, but I feel like it's not that bad three their lasting power i think is absolutely amazing especially centrifugia best wear i have it lasts probably three or four hours even with eating i absolutely love that about it um i found like a lot of the reviews that say these are thickly formulated and they're thick and overly dry i usually find that they're dated back from 2010 so i don't know if there's been a reformulation and that's why i love mine so much i don't really know that's just speculation but that is it for my review if you like this video then please like and subscribe it would really mean a lot to me and i guess i'll see you guys next time if you have any questions at all leave them down below and so i'll see you guys next time bye